Unfortunately, a lot of people are kind of having their last conversations, you know, with a doctor or a nurse before they get put on a ventilator. An increasing number of local health care workers are seeking therapy and mental health services after witnessing unprecedented trauma over the past year. News Channel 3's Madison Weil has more on what hospital workers are facing on a daily basis and resources that can help. Our local health care workers fighting the relentless coronavirus for almost a year now. ICUs filled with patients, the death toll skyrocketing in recent months. It's been really hard. I mean, we talk about it every day. Those on the front lines witnessing patient deaths in numbers they've never seen before. We want to give them reassurance. We want to give them comfort. You know, their family's not there to hold their hands. But at the same time, we don't want to lie and we don't want to misrepresent what's happening. And with family members not allowed inside, these frontline heroes are often not only just medical providers, but also filling that role of family and emotional support. Unfortunately, a lot of people are kind of having their last conversations, you know, with a doctor or a nurse before they get put on a ventilator. That stress being thrown onto the first responder is so intense. Ken Seeley, a local certified trauma specialist, says he's seen a drastic increase in first responders coming in for mental health services. The difficulties of going to work and not knowing if someone's going to be alive that day. He says he's helping many who are struggling with overwhelming grief. Isolation, depression, drugs, alcohol, to numb the discomfort of the pain. Adding that many in the healthcare industry can feel reluctant to seek help. They're out there and their mentality is, I'm the helper and you're the one that needs help. So they can't relate when it comes time for when they need help. But it's something he says can't wait. Don't wait until the crisis. Jump in now and start joining support groups around trauma. Madison Weil, News Channel 3.